Hey, what's up Street Talks, Derek Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So I wanted to hit you with another video on photography philosophy. So I think photography philosophy is probably one of the most important things in photography that we often don't talk about. And the most important thing is asking yourself, why do you make photos? And how can you make authentic photos? So to me, I don't think there is such thing as good photos or bad photos, but I think there's authentic and inauthentic photos. An authentic photo is a photo that you shoot which communicates your soul. And it's it's kind of born from this childlike desire to capture something or create some sort of art form. And often the mistake we make is we try to make certain photos to please other people and get a lot of likes on social media or whatever, and we forget to make photos for ourselves. I'm fortunate enough, so I'm 31 years old, uh, I was born in 1988, and for me, when I started photography, when I was around 18 years old, we didn't yet have social media in the sense, not even Flickr, we had photo blogs. Actually, ericinphotography.com was initially a photo blog, and then I made ericinphotography.com slash blog as a WordPress blog, and it kind of gave you some stats and then people could kind of leave comments, but it wasn't really a thing. And so I feel like in the early days of photography, photography was actually a lot simpler. It just, I, I went out with my camera and I photographed whatever I considered beautiful or interesting and I'll upload to my blog. And obviously I liked getting comments or views or whatever, but it was still kind of the early days where social media hadn't really taken off. So notions of getting famous on your photo blog, whatever, was kind of a non-concept. So I really feel like there, there was a lot more purity in my photography. And actually when I think about when I was 18 years old and I had my first Ken SD600 and I just took point and shoot photos, I feel like that was the most pure. I just photographed anything I, I, I wanted to without really the notion of sharing it with anybody else, but to just document it for my own personal purposes and possibly to share photos or snapshots with uh, friends and family afterwards. And so moving forward, I think photography is going through this weird thing where we photographers were trying to become more legitimate artists because generally speaking, photographers, unfortunately, aren't seen as legitimate in the art world. But I think photography is as legitimate as painting or drawing or anything else out there. And so I feel that even us as photographers don't worry about trying to become some super fartsy, artsy person, but actually really delight in shooting snapshots and really using the camera or the tool which is most uh, useful to you. Often just even using an iPhone might be the, the simplest tool. And so try to go ultra light in, with your photography and don't always try to go for better cameras or better image quality, but try, just try to simplify your whole photographic process. And actually that's what my personal con uh, quest is right now, to simplify my photographic process as much as possible. So right now I'm just shooting with the Huji cam app on my iPhone and using the iPhone to upload to my blog and to favorite my images. And it simplified my life in such a positive way that I'm able to actually spend a lot more time making photos that I generally care about and also making photos that just kind of speak out to, um, uh, speak out to my personal soul. Uh, other tips about how to become more authentic as a photographer is experiment for the next month. Don't upload any photos to your Facebook, Instagram, social medias, whatever. And instead, I encourage you to start your own blog. Uh, an easy way to get started, just go on wordpress.com or if you're more ambitious like myself, uh, oneinone.com or bluehost.com and install wordpress.org. Make your own website, firstlastname.com or firstlastnamephotography.com. So I'm just ericinphotography.com. And use this as opportunity to only share photos on your own website, your own blog. And another tip is turn off all the statistics and stuff like that and also turn off comments because that stuff kind of screws up your own personal self-esteem. It becomes more about getting likes rather than to make photos that bring you joy for the sake of it. And so moving forward in your photography, spend less time on social media. I would actually encourage you not to look at other people's work on social media either. There's tons of great photographers and artists on social media, but uh, rather to find inspiration, I'd encourage you to look at the masters. Just Google Eric Kim, learn from the masters. I got a list of all these great photographers to study or don't even look at photographers, look at painters, look at calligraphers. I'm currently really digging Japanese wood, uh, wood block printing in terms of the compositions. I'm a big uh, Hokusai fan and so realize that inspiration for your photography and visual artwork doesn't have to just be in photography, it could be anywhere. So realize that 
the whole world is your oyster. You don't even have to use just photography. You can start painting using calligraphy. I like to use iPhone and this is actually really fun. I have this um, app called ZenBrush 2 and on my phone, I like to just make little sketches of just whatever nonsense comes to my mind. And you can just kind of sketch it here and just save it to your phone. And it's just a, a chance for me to stay on top of my compositions. And I think ultimately with, with photography, it's not about composition. I think, oh, sorry, it's not about image quality. It's more about aesthetics. So how your photos look and feel and also about composition. So hopefully I'll talk more about composition a little bit later as well as aesthetics, but just realize that in order to make authentic photos, make photos which speak to your soul, photograph your loved ones, your friends, your family, photograph anything you consider beautiful, and also honor thy selfie, shoot a lot of selfies yourself. So why do you make photos? What is What do you consider authentic photos to yourself? Feel free to uh, share your thoughts and leave a comment below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace out.